If you've been trying to use that other Vita homebrew browser on your PlayStation Vita, you probably got this error message. Well, you're in luck. The developer of the Better Homebrew browser for PlayStation Vita aims to solve this problem by providing a reliable interface and a fresh coat of paint that looks almost exactly like the original PlayStation Store. Fire up your Vita and your PC. We're about to install the Better Homebrew browser on your system, and we're starting now. First up, grab the official download from PS3 Brewology. I've got a link for you in the description below. Click on the link for Better Homebrew browser to expand the description. A comprehensive list of features and an important notice are listed in the description. Then come down to Download and click on Download to grab the package file for your PlayStation Vita. To install this application to your Vita, select Vita Shell from the live area, then tap on Start to launch the application. Plug in your Vita with your USB data cable to your computer and press the Select button to connect by USB. Once you have the Vita connected, you can simply grab the Vita package file from inside your Downloads folder and drag and drop it directly onto the root of your Vita storage. Once you have this copied over, you can close out any instances of File Explorer and then transition over to your Vita for the remainder of this guide. While still in Vita Shell, press the circle button to disconnect your Vita from your computer over the USB data cable. Navigate to the drive storage area labeled UX0 inside Vita Shell and select it with the X button. Use the D-pad to scroll all the way down to the bottom and up just a bit and you'll find the package file for Better Homebrew browser that you just copied over. Select it with the X button and at the confirmation prompt, select Yes with X. And at the following prompt screen, select Yes with X to continue. The install process only takes a few seconds as the majority of the content that's copied over to the Better Homebrew browser is done online. Once the install process is complete, you no longer need this Vita package file on your system. Press the triangle button while still having it highlighted, then scroll down to Delete with the D-pad and select it with the X button. And at the confirmation prompt, select Yes with X. All right, cool, you're done with Vita Shell at this point. Press the PlayStation button on your Vita and then swipe from the right corner down or press and hold circle to go back to the live area. You'll find a new bubble shake and booty in the live area for better homebrew browser. Navigate to it, select it with X, and then select Start with X to launch it for the first time. And if it crashes, restart your Vita, press and hold the left shoulder button and relaunch the program. Press X to highlight the Apps button and then select it again with X to launch it. You'll get confirmations the content's being downloaded and being parsed. And finally, you'll get a message that it's downloading icons. Once this process is done, you'll be greeted with the Better Homebrew Browser main menu. At the time of the video, it's still in beta, so there's no search function, but you can scroll through the list of content, typically with the newest content at the top. Let's pick something to install so that we can put this thing to the test. Select X to pick the content you want to install. In this case, Super Small Schmuck. You can select the image preview with the X button to see it and any other image previews available for the content you want. If you'd like the content you've selected, use the D-pad to scroll down to download and select it with the X button to continue. Your content will be loaded to the queue on the live area. Okay, while this game is getting ready to be downloaded, let's take a look at some other features inside Better Homebrew Browser. Rather than clicking on the Apps button, use the D-pad to scroll down to the three ellipses in the bottom right corner and select it with X. From here, you can choose which database you want to connect to using the Better Homebrew Browser. In this case, I'm going to switch over to VitaDB. If you choose a different database to connect to, you'll need to run the Apps function again by selecting with X and allowing it to download, parse, and load the menu for the new database. Okay, now that you have the general idea of how all of this works, let's go back to the library and see how the content downloads are managed. Press the PlayStation button and swipe from the right corner down or press and hold circle. From here, navigate up to the Notifications tab in the top right corner and select it with X. As you can see here, the game we selected inside Better Homebrew Browser is listed in the queue. Depending upon the size of the game, your downloads can take from minutes to a couple of hours. Once your download is complete, you'll receive a pop-up notification in the top right corner and you'll see a new bubble in the live area. Alright, let's launch this game and make sure everything went to plan with the process. Navigate to your downloaded piece of content in the live area, select it with the X button, and select Start with X to launch it. And just as expected, everything went to plan. The content downloaded exactly as it should have from the Homebrew browser, and it's working great. And for more great content for your PlayStation Vita, check out this video here, shown on screen and linked in the pinned comment in the description below. See you over there!